I want to welcome you to this segment of the Video Lounge. We are dedicating this as a tribute to a man that I have so much respect for, Rich Overton. This is the RJO artist. We're going to block them all together. He brings a lot of amazing talent to you, to Pride events. He helps us out getting their videos on television. And he's just a great supportive person. And that's why I want to dedicate this whole segment to RJO Entertainment. It's be quick, 15 minutes. Our first artist is Liz Clark. She is here live. We're going to watch her video right now. Now, your video, this is the first time it's being seen at an expo. We're going to talk about your current up-and-coming expo career in a moment. But what changed in your career when the power of music video hit and this aired on Queer Cable? Um, I think mostly what changed is I all of a sudden realized that there was, especially an internet market, I would look and kind of look and see that people who bought my album on iTunes, kind of other people they bought and other people's were also on Logo and there seemed to be this way bigger community of people that I wasn't used to being in touch with because I normally would play live shows and would see people there and, and kind of get to connect to them and all of a sudden a music video, people in Wisconsin or you know places I don't get to that often are all of a sudden buying my CD digitally and that kind of thing. It was really cool. Now let's talk about, you know, you mentioned Wisconsin. You're originally from Colorado. The video, if you all recognize that rooftop, is the Lower East Side. How did you choose to pay homage to the downtown village? Oh, well, I had friends. I, my friend, like, we were on top of her apartment building, and then we had a friend that owned the, the club that we were doing it in during the daytime. So it was just really easy if you have friends. Well, now, this is the first time your video is being shown at an expo. It's already charted in the top of the charts on Queer Cable, but you have an entire, like, a new career traveling expo. Tell me about that. What's coming up for you in the near future, Liz? Um, well, we're going to be doing some expos in um, at this summer, then again in October, uh, Dallas, Seattle. Um, yeah, and then, I don't know, I'm really looking forward to it. I have no idea how it's necessarily going to go, but I'm looking forward to being part of it and just... You know, I don't, I've, since I don't know anything about it, I, it's a whole new world. And we do know that it started here at the original GLBT Expo. This is the first time. And Liz Clark, we welcome you with open arms. Let me get one of those free hugs. Thank you. 